What's going on guys? It's NY Prepper here. It is Tuesday, April 13th, 2021, and I have some breaking news to share with you guys. What you're looking at here is the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Japan. This is the power plant that was damaged by the 2011 tsunami from the 9.0 magnitude earthquake outside of Japan. And we're getting word now that the Japanese government is going to be discharging radioactive water into the ocean in two years, starting in two years, okay? And the reason why they're doing that is because the tanks here that you see in the picture, these blue colored tanks and gray tanks that store radioactive water are becoming full and they don't have a place to put more radioactive water anymore. So they have to release it into the ocean apparently um, because they're saying that it's dangerous to store that much radioactive water um, in one area and um, it's having an effect on the local um, area and it's, um, it's, it's a danger. They're saying it's a danger, but I don't believe that guys. I don't believe that at all. I think they just want to dump it into the ocean to save money because they don't want to have to deal with constantly keeping um, an eye on the water and making sure that the tanks are uh, maintained properly so they don't rust and, and break. And um, so that's why they want to just dump it in the, in the ocean. And um, it's pretty uh, concerning um, because, you know, that could have some massive consequences to the ocean fisheries, the salmon populations, different types of uh, fish that, you know, we consume even here in North America. Um, a lot of our fish comes from the Pacific Ocean. And if they dump all this radioactive water into the Pacific, we don't know what kind of effect that's going to have. Now, Japan is saying that this water is going to have a lower level of radiation, that it's not going to be like fully radioactive. It's going to be less radioactive. But Still, it's it's radioactive, and we don't know what kind of effects that's going to have on the uh, fisheries and on the ocean. You know, this could be catastrophic. And if you guys remember in 2011 when the Fukushima power plant exploded and the radiation went into the ocean, um, there was a, a concern that a lot of the fish that people were eating in the Pacific Northwest of the United States were potentially irradiated. And there were warnings in the Pacific Northwest not to eat certain types of fish that come from the Pacific Ocean because of the uh, radiation that was released after the Fukushima uh, situation back then. And so I'm very concerned about this, guys. Uh, you know, so this is starting in two years. They're going to be dumping all this radioactive water into the ocean. And Japan is saying they're doing it because they have no other choice. But again, everything comes down to money and saving money and greed. And, you know, Japan probably doesn't want to spend the money to constantly maintain those storage tanks. And they'd rather just dump it into the ocean. And um, it's very concerning. So I want to just read a little bit of information here that I have. And this is coming from NBC News. This is uh, Prime Minister Yoshi Yoshihadi Suga said the ocean release was the most realistic option and that disposing the water is unavoidable for the decommissioning of the Fukushima plant, which is expected to take decades. Okay, it's going to take decades for them to decommission the Fukushima plant. He also pledged the government would work to ensure the safety of the water and to prevent damaging rumors on local agriculture, fisheries, and tourism. Uh, the plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, and government officials say tritium, which is not harmful in small amounts, cannot be removed from the water, but all other selected radionuclides can be reduced to levels allowed for release. Some scientists say the long-term impact on marine life from low-dose exposure to such large volumes of water is unknown. The government stresses the safety of the water by calling it treated, not radioactive, even though radionuclides can only be reduced to disposable levels and not to zero. 
So, guys, this is a very serious situation. Uh, we have to keep an eye on this. Um, this is another reason why you should prep your food and make sure you have enough food stored up and to try to get yourself uh, self-sufficient because something like this could be an environmental disaster uh, down the road. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. If you're in the Pacific Northwest, you particularly need to be um, on red alert when they decide to dump this water. Um, you know, it's, it's a high likelihood that a lot of the fish that you're used to eating are not going to be available anymore. Um, and even here on the East Coast, you know, there may be a ban on Pacific salmon because it might get irradiated. Who knows? But I just wanted to share this with you guys. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.